This is your guy, S.D. Booker, with the Toast to the Men. Before you listen to this video, hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the like button. Hit that like button. Let's go. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the Men. Welcome to A Toast to the Men with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Let's go. Again, this is Wednesday. Wednesday's with Yaya, my beautiful wife. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Good to have you with Thank me. Thank you for having me. Yes. So the, today's topic, Tabitha Brown retires her husband. I'm going to let you kick this off. What are your thoughts when, uh, I think I put you down with this topic. You hadn't heard about it. No, I hadn't heard about it, but... When I saw, um, when I researched her mm -hmm. a little bit more, man, that's 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 such an awesome move, and uh, I think it says a lot about him too. Mm -hmm. To trust her to retire him, because um, I think initially. Um, well, she 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 told him she wanted to work a few years or just give her a few years mm -hmm. um and then after that she would re retire him so that he could accomplish his goals yeah i mean it's interesting it's different i think uh it's different because you know the way the way I'm structured, the way I'm wired, I, I was raised or uh, indoctrinated. The husband should retire the wife. Right. So I was thinking. Uh, I had a question. Now, if 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 our situation had been that same rodeo, mm -hmm. would you have entrusted me to do that, or would I have had to show you? that I was capable of doing it or what would you need to see in order to agree to that? Well, with me, I'm going to have my ducks in a row. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not just going to entrust you to retire me. <laughs> I'm just not. I'm going to have my ducks in a row. Something, I got to have some kind of support system, some kind of security blanket. Because think about this they have to have some kind of security blanket in place because let's just say, let's just say they break up. Then what? Let's say. Okay. Then what? Okay. You know, so I think just for following them a little bit, I think he's a responsible man. Um, I think she's responsible. And, uh, I think they had an agreement that he would support her dreams. Right. And she didn't fumble. She didn't fumble that opportunity. Uh, so that's where trust was established also. Right. She didn't fumble that opportunity. She came through on her end of the agreement. Of the agreement. And uh, he's a police officer, been a police officer for, for 10 years. Now, that's not saying that... Uh, now, you know, police officers, depending on the rank and... Uh, and tenure, you know, they can make, I guess, up to six figures, I think. I don't they know. can. Mm -hmm. And I think they're in Cali, mm -hmm. so cost of living is a little bit differently, different, but uh, we don't know the investments they have. Right. You know, what, whatever they got going on, real estate, investment, stocks, bonds. So we don't know what their financial situation is, what his financial situation is, aside from his salary, his police officer's salary. Right. Right. So uh, she's a big thing on social media especially IG, TikTok, mm -hmm. and so uh, Facebook. So, you know, I know she's getting those those ad dollars coming in. Right. You know, uh, multi-millionaire. So there's a trust there between them two, and only them two understand. He has a child from a previous relationship. So we can't say he didn't come with something. True. Um, True. Yeah, there's a trust there. There's just a trust there. But I think it really helps that 
she didn't fumble the opportunity when he supported her right. her dream. Um, he didn't fumble it. And I think, and I think, um, man, that's a that's a that's a beautiful question. So can a man allow a woman to follow her dreams, but still live within his purpose? Yeah. And aside from that, I was thinking, I, I wanted to mention earlier that it just really says a lot about her. I'm not putting her, you know, high on a pedestal, but it says a lot about her to make that promise mm -hmm. to him and then stay focused yeah. Yeah. and see it through. Yeah, because it's uh, just life isn't easy. Mm -mm. And, and when you are uh, pursuing your mission, your purpose, it's gonna be hills, valleys, peaks, and uh, all kinds of distractions. All kinds of distractions, uh, heartaches, and so, hey man, you gotta run the, the good, the good race, mm -hmm. and uh, stay to the stay the course, stay focused. So that's that's easier said than done, but it's possible. So uh, you know, I, I commend them. It's a beautiful thing. It says a lot about both of them as people, right? And. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful thing, and uh, yeah, I would like to know more about him. I, I would like to know more about him. Yeah, I want to know more about her. Yeah, hey, there's there's some connection there when I when I listen to her. So would you when would I you, look would you her, want to retire me? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. With without a doubt. This this is a mean world out here, and uh, you know, corporate. You 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 communicated to me that corporate's not your thing. Yeah, it's not my you, thing. And I've seen it. Yeah, I know it's not your thing. So I, I can I, do it. I've done it, but it just really doesn't fit my personality, and it doesn't utilize my God-given gifts and talents. It does, and it's just not. There's a lot I can say about corporate. You just have to be on your P's and Q's, and it's, it's hard to trust people. And and at the end uh, of, the, of the day, you're just you're working for another person to make their company better. That's yeah. That's what you're doing. If something were to happen where you had to walk away, or where they had to let you go, or let's just say you got sick, uh, you you will be replaced immediately. That's yeah. that's how much they do and don't care yeah and, and let me say this uh corporate america fits some people right. you know it fits some people i'm just saying my personality my skill set it doesn't really fit um i just uh, i adapt and so i'm good at adapting but i heard something stephen a smith the uh, commentator on espn said recently he said he wakes up thinking about how can he make his bosses more money and in turn how can he get some of that money now mm -hmm. people came down on him especially black people came down on him they said that was a, a, a sucker move a, 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 a sambo move a coon move but um, we need good workers right. uh, businessmen entrepreneurs corporate America you need good workers mm -hmm. and there's a skill set there's a skill set to have that kind of mentality mm -hmm. to make make your bosses more money mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of black people look down on him mm -hmm. because he came with that perspective but if you're a businessman mm -hmm. an entrepreneur you want someone like Stephen A. Smith working mm -hmm. for you right whether you're black white yellow red whatever right you want someone that's looking to make more money for you and also looking to see how can he get some of that money. Right. So he's just, he's looking to uh, elevate himself as right. well financially. But like you said- I, I'm not looking at it as a salesman, a great right. salesman. And uh, Stephen A is unorthodox, but he is a salesman. Mm -hmm. He's selling himself, selling his personality. And that's why he makes the most money at ESPN. But even you, you've said too, if you are a worker bee, mm -hmm. if corporate is for you, 
just admit corporate is for you. Right. you know, um, having your own business or being an entrepreneur is not for you or it is for you. It's not you for have everyone. To know, yeah. yeah, it's not for everyone, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you know, I'm I'm just uh, I'm just me. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just me, and uh, yeah. You you are um, a leader. Um, not to be led. You can be. I can be. Led, I, can I know be. you're. You're constantly learning, and you yeah. have. It depends on have, the situation, right? You have yeah. mentors. You have somebody yeah. you're pulling some information yeah. from. So, but I'm just saying, in in corporate. Right. Yeah, I'm not. I don't have to be the point man. Right. Uh, if someone knows more than me, that's cool. But. Uh, even within the team, even though I may not be the point man, I'm still a leader in my own right. Right. Yeah. And then you have to be in a situation where you are yourself. Right. You know. Yeah, I gotta. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta pretending. Be my, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can adapt. Eight to five. Yeah, I can adapt, and uh, but I can't pretend really. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but uh, yeah, man, Tabitha Brown retires a husband. I think that's a commendable thing. I do uh, Says a lot about both of them, and uh, man, that's 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 what's up, man. He he allowed her to do her thing, and uh, she returned the favor, mm -hmm. and that's that's a great relationship. Mm -hmm. Now, Wendy Williams, she has something to say about that. Oh yeah, uh, and I'm paraphrasing. Uh, she said it wouldn't work. He's going to be trying different things, uh, entrepreneurial wise. It's not going to work. He's going to end up blaming her. He's gonna find somebody else. They're gonna split. Now, <laughs> she was projecting and uh, trying to transfer what happened over to her, in her house, in her home, right, over to Tabitha. Right, right, right. You know, these are these are Tabitha's guy and, and Wendy's guy, two different kind of guys. Right. And Wendy Williams and Tabitha Brown are two different type of women. Right. Uh, they don't have the same energy. They don't project the same energy. Uh, Man, when I look at Tabitha, uh, and that's one thing, one one of the few, one of the many things I love about you. Well, probably the number one thing is your femininity, and that's what I see in Tabitha. Mm -hmm. Very nurturing, feminine, you know, uh, very classy lady, and so uh, I don't see that. I don't get that when I look at Wendy. Or hear Wendy speak, mm -hmm. a lot of negativity, right. a lot of a lot of darkness, uh, where no light is coming out of it. Mm -hmm. So two different types of women. Uh, Tabitha responded in the way <laughs> Tabitha will respond: classy, assertive, with so much grace. Grace, classy, yeah. assertiveness, and uh, that's the difference in the women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's the difference, and that's that's part of the reason. Tabitha attracted her husband. Wendy attracted her husband. Exactly. Tabitha and her husband's still together. Wendy's divorced. So two different people, uh, right. two different types of couples. And so, uh, yeah, that's a lesson within itself. Mm -hmm. uh, what works for you may not work for everyone. You got to do what works for you. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and you are who you attract. You know, you are who you attract. So, that's just what that is. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I was just thinking, Wendy um, tried to imply that it wouldn't work. Right. You know, it wasn't a good move, but we know some of Wendy's history. We don't know what her husband had to deal with. Right, right. We're just looking. Like, she's talking about right. the now. Right. But we know we know some negative aspects of her, of her history, too. Right. And, uh, that's the thing too, uh, when relationships don't work, uh, we typically hear about the bad side of a, of a husband, mm -hmm. of a male. Mm -hmm. But most times men don't tell their side of the story. They don't bash the woman or put her out there. So we never right. really know. So it's one sided. Right. Um, and, and generally how people think Whoever tells the story first, that's who's right. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm an objective person. So I don't rush to judgment. 
I think I know it's two sides to it. And so somewhere in there, both for fudging and both for telling the truth. And that's just the way it goes. Right. Yeah. But, you know, I, to answer your earlier question, I think I did, but I would love to retire you. I just, I see the passion in your eyes when you're doing what you love. Sorry, man, we got, we got the, uh, we got the, Stomp that concrete ten toes down. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what was that mean? <laughs> ten toes down. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Bring daddy back that paper. <laughs> no. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> you so square. <laughs> hey, that's what I need. I need a square. <laughs> Cause I got some stuff in me. Yeah, you do. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 it balances. And I got the other stuff. It balances me out. <laughs> yeah, we balance each other out, so that's, that's all good. But, yeah, we just want to share those thoughts, man. Um, do what works for you. Support each other. Trust each other. Uh, yeah, man, you know, uh, be happy within yourself. Then bring that happiness into someone else's life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Anything can work. Anything's possible. When two minds come together, two spirits, two hearts come together, focus, discipline, right. and they want the best for one another. So, hey, that's what we got. Right. Yes. When it's just with Yaya, from us to you, as always, love. Peace. Peace. <laughs>